Here's how to transfer your asset libraries to a different computer. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media, showing you how to create profitable content. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your asset libraries to a different computer. So here's how it came about for me. I just got a new computer. And if you've ever done that, you need to transfer all your softwares and re-upload stuff. And I use Camtasia pretty much every day. And so I had to figure out how to transfer the libraries. So here's how it goes. When you are in your Camtasia on your original computer, so not the new computer, but your original one, head over to your libraries. And if you click here, if you have more libraries, they're gonna be here. The Camtasia one is the one that it comes with. And you see these here, audio files, Brian Banks, Esatino Assets, Investor Life. Those are custom asset libraries that I've created. Now you do need to do this for each library file. So this would be one audio files, Brian Banks would be one, Default would be one, Esatino Assets would be one, Investor Life would be one. So let's just say I wanna do this one here. This is a client of ours. And let's say I wanna transfer this stuff. So this stuff is specifically for his project, right? And I created this stuff in here to save time and it really does save time. All right, so once you've chosen the library that you want to export, click on it, it's on Brian Banks right now. And then you click again and you go to manage library and you wanna go to export library. So here, it's gonna give you like a generic file name with a bunch of letters and numbers. I suggest you name it what the library is. And then let's just put this on the desktop. And you'll see here that it's exporting it as a zip file basically. And we're gonna click save. All right, it's zipping it. And then you'll see here this. It's a really cool looking icon in my opinion. It is a zipped Camtasia folder. From here, when you wanna transfer it to someone else's computer or your new computer, you basically just send this over to them. So depending on how big it is, you can send it in an email or you can upload it to a Google Drive and share it with them that way or a Dropbox. However you send files, send it to them. And then when you receive it or when they receive it, all you have to do is open it up, like double click and open it up. You need to make sure that you have Camtasia installed first and it will open it up in Camtasia. So I'm gonna double click on it. See, it's opening up Camtasia and it's asking me import to library. So before we were exporting, now we're importing. And then it's like, what library do you want this to go to? And so you can create a new library or add it to a default one. So I had to create a new library because I didn't already have it. And then I named it as such, and then I clicked import. So I'll just click cancel in here. Now I will make a note that this library, when I was exporting, I have a lot of stuff in here and some files are pretty huge. So this one did take a longer time and it was quite a larger file. So just be aware of that, that it might take a little bit longer if you've got a lot of stuff in your library. And so that's how you do it. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour 70 lecture Camtasia course that will fast track your Camtasia learning. If you wanna learn Camtasia and you wanna learn it fast, head down to the description below and get my course. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.